What's up, Scrollgers? It's Nerp here, and I am back to rank number one. Uh, the last time I was ranked number one was a couple of weeks ago, um, so it's nice to be back at the top spot. Um, I actually had to beat Nyx, which is the alt account of Nickteen16. So yes, Nickteen16 and, and Nyx are the same person, if you didn't know that. Um, so yeah, I beat him and shot me ahead of Donkey74 into number one the ladder with a 1955 rating and I really especially want to win this week's number one weekly winner badge because that would be my 10th time winning the number one weekly winner badge um, which is a nice round round number and it means I mean I, that's like almost doubling getting a cape because to get the Minecraft cape permanently if they get it five times that would be my 10th time so that is why I really want that and to celebrate getting master number one I'm going to do today's daily hard trial uh, I already did the easy one, the medium one. I was thinking about doing them on video, but I think it would just be a waste of uh, waste of time. The easy one and the medium one are really just a free 600 gold, um, 200 for the easy, 400 for the medium. I guess maybe it's not it's not a piece of cake for like a brand new player, but with with just an understanding of the game, I do believe both of these trials are beatable in like five turns every single day with just like a fast deck like a fast growth deck or a tempo order deck um what i do, i don't really play the trials um daily trials anymore on a daily basis i used to but i have so much gold it doesn't really matter um but if you find the easy trial and the medium trial pretty simple just do them every day and you'll get some free gold it's like because the easy ai is just just it just doesn't really know what it's doing um and on top of that in the easy trial you're getting like an advantage and then to a lesser extent, the medium AI, both of these um, shouldn't be too hard to get gold from. So I just did those off camera. It'd probably just be a waste just beating it in a couple turns of aggro growth. What is often fun is the hard trial. Okay, speaking of all the trials, if you're a new player on the channel um, and you're having any trouble with any of the later hard trials here, um, just search it on my, on my channel. I may have done a guide or tutorial for uh, the hard trial you're looking for uh so yeah but back to this the hard trials are often very hard there's like a huge jump in difficulty between the medium trial and the hard trial it's pretty crazy uh oftentimes these are just beatable with a normal aggro growth deck uh but sometimes they're much harder and yeah they could really take a toll on your win percentage it's really unfortunate uh, that this game uh, counts games against the AI towards your win percentage like like all the games I lost to the uh, hard trials are counted in games played so it's a little unfortunate I wish they only counted ranked matches and maybe judgment matches into your win percentage but whatever um, we're gonna do the hard trial today and I actually already tried with aggro growth and that did not work um, oh I didn't did I not even show what the hard trial was forgive me uh, where am I? It's just, I start with Wicked Being, he starts with Earthen Mirth. So Wicked Being and Earthen Mirth are this, are these. Whoops. That's Wicked Being. Unstable 2 means you just enchant your creature and it will become like a loyal dark only. It will deal 2 damage to the opponent idle when it dies. Um, so all my creatures will deal 2 damage to the opponent idle when they die like a loyal darkling, And all of his creatures will have Earthen Mirth. Which, if you've seen growth players, you'll, you, you'll see... If they like using the scroll it's basically two champion two champion rings in one scroll it just plus four attack but having that on all his all of his creatures means his rivals have five attack his veterans will have seven attack it's just crazy um so that's why that's what makes this a hard trial and the deck i'm going to use for this sometimes i have to make a specialized deck to beat these like some of the later regular trials um but what I think is going to be a good fit is this Undead YOLO Decay. Because it has some, like, Wicked Beings of Home and, like, direct idle damage, I think it could work. Uh, I don't mind having really weak creatures in this deck for this trial because the opponent's creatures will have such high attack that anything's going to die in one hit anyway, so it may as well be weak creatures. Um, so I'm going to see how this works. And as, as usual, there's going to be a link in the description below to the deck and some people ask me how to access those decks i put in the description um all you have to do what, what i do is that what i put in the description is a string of text that looks like this so you just copy that this will be in the description 
and then when you're just loading a deck you just go like this import and you paste whatever you paste it in and then you'll get my deck so that's how that works if you didn't know and let's get this over with that was a pretty long intro uh undead yolo decay and i go first which i think is, has to happen um i do have a turn one play but i want to have a turn two play so i'm going to draw another one but this time it's not much better. I'm going to get rid of the Soul Scrounger. Yeah. Okay. Languid is not going to be really useful for this. Because... Um, my opponent creature is going to have such high attack anyways. Languid not going to do much. And let's see if he, he just plays a Kinfolk Ranger right there. Yes, yeah, so that thing's always gonna have six class. He's gonna he's gonna attack before this thing gets to attack. Unfortunately, I'm going to get rid of the hmm. I'm going to get rid of the hex marks, and I will play. the rot eater behind all right cool he's running away and i think i'm gonna run away too i'd rather not lose any creatures right now let's see if i can get like a wrestle bones grizzly graft not right now so i'm just gonna run away a little bit and play another creature so i do like the start in this match he hasn't really played the fracketables into my face yet and I'm gonna be able to deal some damage here. All right, so this thing's gonna die, I'm gonna, and I'm gonna deal some mental damage. Very nice. And I draw another revenant. I kind of wanted to keep the revenants because they all look at being, so these idols are gonna start ticking down. But I'd rather do that. So let's kill that. Deal three damage on the idol. Um, I want to. What I want to do is I want to protect this middle idol. I'm going to really aggressively, like this, with like Wicked Beings too, I'm going to really aggressively make sure that if he takes on the middle idol, I'm taking on his middle idol. So I'll make sure enough creatures of mine have to die. Just five creatures have to die to take on an idol. Alright, so he is pushing towards the middle. Um, he gets his first idol down. Loyal Darkling is very nice for this trial. It's like a double Darkling. But I probably need to play Brain Lace this turn. Because I want to get rid of this guy who's attacking every turn. He's quite a nuisance. So I'm going to get rid of him. And I will go like that. Make sure my attacking creatures don't die. And Grizzly Graft Harvester is a great great play, especially for this match also, because I will kill my I will kill my own creatures, which is pretty good. So it's nice I'm keeping him out of the middle right now, which is really, really, really what I want to do. Um, I'm going to get rid of this. I shall hmm. How do I want to do this? Let's play you here. So now I just need when this dies, the middle idol is destroyed. And then let's go like this. All right. And there's a Wetland Ranger. Okay, that's middle level destroyed. And let's see if I can win the game very soon. If I can't win this turn, he might win next turn. Uh, let's get rid of the. Hmm. Okay, so I wish I had a one drop or two drop to play there. What can I do here? I can. I can't win this turn. Alright. 
I'm going to... Languid doesn't do much, but I'd rather have a different scroll in my hand. I'm going to Languid, and I'm just going to Brain Lice here. Okay. Not too bad. Hopefully we can't win this turn. Let's draw something that I can play with the Grizzly Graph, please. A Rally would have been gained there, but I don't know if his deck runs Rally. And he's not protecting those bottom idols. Okay. Hex Marks. Let's get rid of the... Get rid of the brain lice right now. Okay, so if I grizzly graft. If I grizzly graft hex marks. That's game, right? Yeah, it's game. What am I talking about? GG. Pop. So that is the hard trial beaten in nine rounds. See, that's a nice chunk of gold you can get. So there we are. And again, the link in the description will be for this deck. This isn't really a great deck for ranked. I mean, it's pretty good. It wins wins a lot. It's not like on par with like Lakeian Order, Aggro Growth, like main meta decks like that, and like Automatons. But it's a really fun deck to play, especially with these Anemic Condots you didn't get to see in action. But I guess that'll be it for today, so like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more content like this, and keep on scrolling, scrollgers. I'll see you next time.